Uh, oh, by the way, uh, how did coming out to your audience go? <gasps> oh my god, that's so weird. Good day, everyone! So before we get on with today's video, I just want to give a huge thank you for the support on the last video. You guys liking and commenting really made a difference in the algorithm for me, so I really appreciate it. And if you could do it again on this video, it would mean the world to me. This video has been five years in the making. I still can't believe that I did this it's so weird but i also want to let you guys know that i just <laughs> released some new merch it's this i know you guys have seen me wear this in a couple videos and it's finally out it's my name upside down and then i have my last name on the back of this i also have a few hoodies um all the stuff's right here so if you want to go check it out i will link it down below and yeah let's get on with the video ah uh, good day everyone and welcome to today's video oh my god why do i already have tears tearing up in my freaking eyes I feel so nervous and so shaky. You guys can tell from the title of this video that I am watching a time capsule that I made myself back in 2014, five years ago. And um, oh, this is so weird. This is so freaking weird. I don't even remember what I said. There's a few things that I kind of remember, but I think I just did it because I wanted to send a message to myself in the future to remind me of what my goals were and how I was feeling in that time. And oh my God, this is so weird. How did time go by so freaking fast? A lot has changed in the past five years. And I'm so curious to watch this to see what my dreams and hopes were. I don't even remember if that's what I talked about. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. I don't want to do it, but I do. I think I'm just afraid that I failed my five ago year self. Oh, my heart is racing so freaking fast. Okay. It says, don't watch till 2019 is the final name. Okay, let's just do this, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Three, two, one. Hi there. So, <laughs> this is a time capsule. My room is so uh, messy, hold on, is... <laughs> Why did I make my bed? <laughs> There's like literally socks on the ground. I have, oh my god, okay. This is so weird. I look thick. Okay, I'm only 11 seconds in. I need to continue. It is April 7th, 2004. Oh, April! And this is my message to a uh, 27-year-old Joey. Wow, holy crap. So in five years, I'm going to be watching this video and seeing how different my life is, I guess. But yeah, I guess right deep. now in my life, I'm living uh, with my friend Sawyer, about to move in with Megan and David. And um, I don't know, life is, life is good right now. Um, I'm hoping that this move will only make my relationship with De 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 Megan and David stronger. And I hope that we are still friends <laughs> watching this because they're both amazing people and I love them so much. And I, I don't know, like, should, should I just go, like, each segment by segment, or do I watch the whole thing and then react to it? Um, <laughs> this is so weird to talk about, but I feel like it's it's only fair to be fully truthful to you guys. Um, Megan and I are still friends, David and I are not. I won't get into exactly why we're not, but um, some things were done where there could be no friendship anymore. Um, so, to my past self Joey, no, that's not a friendship anymore. But living with them was amazing. It was such a fun year. That's the year that I met Daniel actually. I don't know, there was just, I, I got Wolf. Um, I had a lot of fun. I was very adventurous. I was very social at that time in my life. So it was just a really great year. Um, so yes, Joey, that was an amazing experience moving in with them. Moving on. The agency UTA, agency. I'm, I'm, I'm still a UTA. Um, the agency UTA, and I'm excited. I hope that my career gets to go to the next level because of them. Ah, fingers crossed like, that I get to go and be an actor. Um, what else is going on in my life? Um, I guess I want to be an actor I'm single. I still haven't ever found love. Ah! That's pretty much what's always on my mind is just wanting to be in love and be in a relationship and I've gotten my heart broken a few times but uh, I'm sure it's about to happen a few more. Um, I actually have some questions that I want to ask you. This is so weird. 
So this is before I met Daniel. I remember just being so, so desperate to find someone. Like I just wanted someone to love me and I wanted to love someone. And it's so weird that literally like four months later, I found my boyfriend of five years. So that's crazy. Um, going back to the UTA thing, um, they've been great. I haven't acted in anything, but also my priorities changed and I really wasn't that into doing acting as much. Um, I kind of found that I just like creating shows. Okay, let's let's move forward. We're literally only two minutes in. This is so cool! Okay. Uh, hopefully, you're still alive watching this <laughs> because uh, that would be kind of bad. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, question. Oh, MacBooks, what are they like? Are they anything different? No, they're the same. <laughs> okay. Uh, first question, yeah, are you alive? Second is, what's life like for you now? Are you more successful than I am now? Hmm, I hope so. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so I'm gonna go question by question. What is life like now? Am I successful, more successful? Um, I would say, yes, I am more successful. Obviously, as time has passed, these past five years, I've grown, my channel's grown. Um, at this time, I was living in an apartment to now owning my own home um, was a major accomplishment. So I would say successfully, yes, I have grown. I don't know how many subscribers of the gap it was. Um, I'm curious if I've mentioned that. Let's, let's keep watching. Oh my God, please, God, tell me that you have fallen in love with some guy. Like, come on, you better not be single still. Please tell me. <laughs> this because is so if weird. You're not found love, um, and you have still been single. Maybe you should try being straight. Um, <gasps> oh, by the way, sassy dude. Coming out to your audience, go. <gasps> oh my god, that's so weird. Did you guys hear that? I need to replay that. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, how did coming out to your audience go? Right now, I'm still, still hot now in the closet, you know. Um, but yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure they all. And they were. <laughs> God, this is so weird. This is literally right before so much changed in my life. Coming out was absolutely amazing. Just so well received. And the way that I did it was just the way that I wanted to do it when I felt ready. As you can tell, like before I even came out, I think that was two years before I came out. I knew that people were going to be accepting of it, but I knew personally that I was not ready. I knew that I needed some time to kind of become more secure in what that meant in my sexuality before I could be that role model. So crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh, how was season two of Storytellers? Did that become anything? Like what happened with it? Did you take it to a TV show or? Gosh, did it go anywhere? <laughs> this is what I was afraid of, the disappointment. I remember recording that part and just being, <sighs> so sure of everything that was coming from that because I I got wrapped up into a deal with Legendary. So I was like, oh, season two is definitely happening and you guys, you, some of you guys probably don't even know what Storytellers is. Basically, it was a crowd-funded web series that I had of 16 sitting around a campfire telling supernatural stories that were coming true. Um, and you can still watch it on my channel, season one. Everything was in the right direction of Storytellers 2 being made, and then it sucked because season one was so fast. It was like, I just crowdfunded money and went out, shot it, posted it. And that's the life of a YouTuber is just making shit happen. But once you get into the more traditional sense, things get so many more like chefs in the kitchen, um, money gets involved and things get really, I don't know, sicky. So it got wrapped up in with Legendary and then the team that was working on it at Legendary ended up leaving and I was able to get the rights back. And since then I've been pitching out it again, slowly. Um, so there is still hope that there could be a season two, but um, the original plan of it really wrapped it up and wasted a lot of freaking time. So now it's five years later and there hasn't been a season two. So it's like, do people still want that? I don't know. Um, maybe I just recreate it in a new way. And um, I don't know, but I'm curious if you guys want to let me know in the comments if you still want a season two or if you want another storytellers of some sort, let me know. Let's continue. Did you ever get to be in a movie? Like have a big part in a movie? No. Like you've always dreamed? No. I hope so. No, bitch. My dreams changed. 
I realized that acting isn't necessarily like my number one goal. While it would be fun to be in a movie, I find it so much more satisfying creating my own stuff. Like, Escape the Night, like that's, it's just so much more than just playing a role. It's like I get to create all these characters, all these worlds, these storylines, just everything that I want to do and then I get to play in that world. It's just, I don't know. And then I got to write, write um, my books and create short films and stuff like that. I just have found so much, much more joy out of being behind the scenes, but also in front of the camera. So I don't know, my priorities changed. So do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> I'm gonna keep asking. God, I hope you do. Yeah. Or engaged, maybe. Oh. I don't know, don't want to be engaged in five years. Hmm. I don't know. Am I pregnant? Are you pregnant? I don't know. This is so weird talking to myself. Um, yes, I have a boyfriend, Joey. <gasps> Bitch, we did it. We freaking locked ourselves down. A man, we are not engaged, but we are not um, not in that headspace yet. Still feel like a child. I honestly feel like I'm more mature here in this video than I am now. So let's continue. Oh my God, how is your how's your fam our family? How's mom? Is she sober? Is she doing good? Oh, I hope so. She seems to be doing good right now, but you never really know with her. When was the last time you talked to her? Oh my god, that's so crazy. Um, so as you guys know, probably my mom is an alcoholic. Um, throughout my entire life it's been a struggle of like the ups and downs. At this point, she was at like a high. Um, but since then there has been a lot, a lot of lows, um, especially in our relationship. We haven't spoken in about like a year or so um, until actually like when my music video came out, she reached out to me and um, she apologized, but there's still a lot of healing that needs to be done between the two of us. And I think I might actually want to explore that. Um, and kind of like just document the experience of me reconnecting with my mom. So that's something that I'm playing around the idea of. Uh, so more updates with that soon. But to answer your question, Joey, um, I think she's on a good note right now. Um, and yeah, I just recently talked to her. So that's crazy, but for a long time I wasn't. So this is weird that it's like, I'm asking this question now. And it's also weird that I have a pimple in the same spot that I do in this video, here. Oh, this is actually like really therapeutic in a way to just kind of reflect on myself from five years ago. My hair looks so much lighter, by the way. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> oh my God, how's little Jetty? Oh, he's good. Whoa, he's gonna be like, 12 or 13 years old, uh, holy crap. I know. Has he learned to communicate with people verbally? Oh my gosh, I hope so. I bet that kid has a lot to work and say. Hmm, okay. Let's talk about that for a second. So my br little brother is autistic and he's never been able to verbally communicate. He's gotten so much better, but it's still not to the level of just like normal communication. Um, so yeah, but he's still doing better. Okay, how's dad? Has he finally settled down with someone? No. Has he met someone? No. I really hope that he's found love again. And what about Bob? Oh my gosh, how is he? That's my stepdad. Is he taking care of Jed? Yes. Has him and mom finally got divorced? Did they stay yes. together? What happened? There? Hallelujah! Divorced! And of course, mm -hmm. how is your best friend and your big sister, Nicole? Oh! Is she still with Sean? Yes, they got married, Did bitch! Get, are they married? Yep, yeah. they're married. What is life like for her? Do you guys still talk every day? Not every day. Not. You should call her. Yes, we, we talk. I just talked to her yesterday. Have you changed? Mm, I have. There's a lot about myself that I miss so much that like I just miss certain qualities about me. I think two years ago I just became kind of like a shell of who I normally am. Just being more antisocial and just kind of becoming a hermit and just being afraid of a lot of things. I think I'm starting to come back out, but this showy that I'm like, watching right now was so much more, I don't know, engaged in, in more of a social life. And I feel like now I'm just so scared of everything. There's still a lot that I'm proud of, of who I am today. And Have you changed? I hope that you are still down to earth and a very loving, 
boy. Yes. And that I still am. things haven't changed too much. No. And if you have changed, I hope it's in a good way. Yeah. I would say it's in a good way. There's some negative things, but for the most part, it's still good. Huh. <sighs> How many more times did you get your heart broken? Gosh, I hope it wasn't that much. I know how how we like to get very emotionally attached to people. And yeah. Do you still think about all the boys that you've <gasps> been ah. with? Oh my god, I sound like such a slut. But I mean like boys that you've dated. Do you still think about each one every single day? I don't wanna name names, but you know who I'm talking about. Please tell me you are finally over this boy. Yeah! And that <laughs> uh, you finally like gotten past that. How is he? Oh my god, did he end up marrying that guy? Gosh. No. Mm. no First heartbreak. Don't. Not yes. fun. No. But I'm sure you've broken a lot of hearts. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, let's 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 recap that. I didn't get my heart broken again, which is good. Um I think I may have broken one heart <laughs> since then, sorry. Um, but the one, the specific one I was talking about is, um, shoot, what did I name him in my book? His real name is but the name that I put in the book was, yeah, I think it was Preston, Preston Prince. Um, no. So, this boy that I was talking about, yes, I've been over him for quite some time. So, we're good in that department. I don't think about any of the other boys that I dated at that point. And I think that's a good thing to kind of just remember, is just, if you're going through something like that where you just went through a breakup and all you can think about is that person, just know, like, in like a year or two, it's not even gonna be in your head at all. Like, you're going to be completely over that person. It's just, like, maybe they'll just like spark in your head as just like a, a memory, but it's not something that you're just constantly thinking about. And I think at this time in my life, I was so desperate for love that all I could think about was the heartbreak that I felt. Um, so, glad to say, no. Over all that stuff. Moving on, let's continue. Oh my gosh, are you and Winnie still going on crazy adventures? I hope that you're still friends with that girl because she is so fun and you need her in your life forever. Whitney, yes! Whitney was actually just here a few days ago, and if you saw my Instagram stories, we went on some crazy adventures. We went to, oh, crazy adventures. It felt like crazy adventures, because we did 30 escape rooms in one day. Unfortunately, she moved to Washington, D.C. to um, take down Trump. Um, so she's on her own little adventure, so I don't get to see her that often, but when we do, we go on many adventures, we have such a crazy imagination together, so, uh, yes. Still friends with her, but I actually think right after this, we stop being friends for a year because of drama between stuff, um, so, weren't friends for a year, now we're best friends again, all good. Please tell me that you finally went to Japan. Yeah! Did you? Okay, good. Yes, I did! Because Twice! You needed to do that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> what was it like? Oh, like, bitch. Did you meet Totoro? I did. Oh, God, do you still like anime? Yes. Whoa. Oh, pause. Japan was amazing. I've been twice since. Oh, it's honestly just my favorite place in the world. I'll go back probably a thousand more times. So, yes, Joey, don't worry. Mission accomplished. Still love anime. Okay, what is the future even like? Five years, holy crap, something must have happened. Oh, is the world okay? Is there a zombie apocalypse? Was there an outbreak? Did they make, like, a virtual reality world for video games? No, I not hope yet. they did. I mean, I sort of. It was just like Sword Art Online, minus no. the fact that people got killed. Was there another war? Holy crap. Oh god. That'd be scary. No, it's still the same one. Okay, so let's pause that. How's the world? Mm, it could be better. <laughs> Things got a little dark. They're still a little dark, but I have faith humanity is gonna bring it back around. Come on, 2020. Do you still have the facial hair or did you cut it off? Facial hair is still mm, here, bitch. I bet you kept it. Yes, I did. I bet you did. Yes, bitch. This is so fun! I want to. Oh my gosh, are you cringing right now watching this video? Not as much as I thought. Have changed that much that you think that right now this whole video has been cringeworthy? No, you're good. Because that's just gonna say a lot because Joey, 22 year old Joey, thinks that this is a fine video. What about these clothes? Do you still shop at All Saints? Yes. Is it like totally out of fashion? Do no. Look crazy? Do you wear snapbacks? Yes. I still have that shirt. Have you grown up? No, I haven't. I want to be friends with you. I want to be friends with him. Is that weird? Like, I think I'm in love with myself. Like, I 
I want to be friends with this kid. I feel like we'd have so much fun together. I wish I had a twin that was just like me. Can we clone me, please? Because then I would have like such a good friend. Okay, moving on. Anyway, oh, serious oh. tone. Future Joey, if you are watching this, um, I just want to say I hope you haven't changed too much. And if you have, I hope it's always been for the positive. And I hope that you're in a good place. I hope that you're happy. Um, I hope you've managed to find someone to fall in love with. And I hope you have a great set of friends still, and your family's doing good, and I hope that you are still successful and doing stuff. Are you still making YouTube videos? Holy crap, I didn't even ask that. Yes, bitch. Right now, you have 3.2 million subscribers. 3.2? Bitch, we are about to hit 9 million. Maybe we've already hit 9 million, I don't know when this video is going up, but that's like a 6 million subscriber change in five years. Whoa, that's pretty crazy. Um, friendship wise, right now I'm in a place where I don't have too many friends. Maybe that's my own fault, but also it's like, it's really difficult being a YouTuber and making strong connections and strong friendships. So <sighs> hopefully when I do my next video, I'll have more friends that I can be like, oh yeah, he was at a lonely point in his life. because. By the way, I want to do another one of these for the next five years. Um, and I'll probably mention that I don't have many friends right now, but yeah, let's continue. I don't wonder what it's like now, five years from now. Did it get any bigger? Because holy freaking crap, three million is a lot. Nine million, bitch. Sorry for calling you bitch to like it five years. Anyways, wherever you are at in life, if it's bad, just know things will get better. <laughs> and everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. And just know that you're a good person and that are a very loving and nice person and things happen for a reason. Um, Alright, I'm going to end this video. I love you, Joey. I love you too. Uh, hope things are good five years from now. May the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <sighs> okay. Wow. That was so freaking cool. I was so nervous at first that it was going to be like a major disappointment to my past self, but I feel really good after watching that and I feel like it's a good reminder of like where I've been and where I've gotten to. It really doesn't feel like it was that long ago, um, but clearly a lot has happened in between that time. And I am proud of where I am today and what I've accomplished, so I think my past self would be very happy and proud of me today. I, it's so weird because like I, I want to be Joey's friend. Like I wish, <laughs> I wish I could clone that one and just like hang out. It's so weird to just talk to yourself. Um, granted it was like by five years. Maybe I should just start talking to myself in the mirror more. But yeah, that was really neat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you everyone for watching me. If you're, you've been around since when I, five years ago, thanks for sticking with me. If you're new, if you're one of those new five million six million people thank you for joining my journey and uh you mean the world to me you have really been the one to give me these crazy opportunities that i've had that have made me who i am today so i love you thank you for subscribing and if you're new here today go ahead hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button I'll let you know every time i post a video allegedly um but yeah I love you guys so much. I feel so happy. And um, yeah, I hope this inspires you guys to go make your own time capsule video because it's pretty damn cool. And I'm gonna go make my next one for another five years passes. <sighs> All right, until next time, I will see you next time. Good damn.